Wait. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, family. Hey, family. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. It's always like we're like, okay, wait, YouTube, Facebook, okay, Insta. You got it. Everybody's here. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Happy it's Friday, Friday, guys. Look oh, who's yeah. standing today. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I just bashed my hand on the back, but look at who is standing today. I'm back at it, guys. Still not feeling the greatest, but I'm here. So excited to be with you guys today. Antonio's here, savory smoker, naughty beaver, beaver barbecue. How are you guys? It's so nice to have you guys with us. I'm so excited about what we're making today because Hobie's garage. Hi, Hobie. Hi, our friend Hobie. How are you? And Mike, 250 Northern Barbecue. You guys tuned in for a good one today. Oh, yeah. Oh, Antonio said, get it, girl. Oh, yeah. S Will's in the house. He's saying TGIFF. Usually, Oh, I was just going to say, usually S. Will throws another F on the end of that. It's Do I want to know what that F stands for, Will? I think we all know what it stands for. Uh -oh. I think we all know. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it is Friday, so I think you're allowed to add another F if you wanted to. Exactly. The Dog Father's Barbecue in the house he's over saying, on He's saying, ayo, what up, guys? <laughs> no, he's saying, what's up, guys? <laughs> you don't hear that one that much I was anymore. Gonna say, it's taking me right back to like the days of the movie Scream, remember? And everyone was going, what's up? It's because that commercial. Remember how annoying that was? It was really? annoying, but so awesome. I like it. That just brought me right back. Okay, so before we tell you guys what we're making today, I would like to do the Friday song. Yeah, and Kiki is standing for it this time. Last week, she was seated because she wasn't feeling that good, but she's back up. She's ready to do it today. Are you guys ready on Instagram? Are you guys ready on YouTube and Facebook? Get your hands ready? up, guys. I'm ready. Let's do Here this. Here we go. Friday, Friday. Yes, it's Friday. I like you standing up much better. With the, yeah, Me too. Doing her drum solo. Yeah, here we go. The drum solo now has come to be like you have to do it every little, single week. Okay. Little. In I honor, had on honor my head Chop this week. Oh, did you guys hear that? Heartbreaking news. One of the members of ZZ Top has passed away. Dusty passed away. He was their bassist. It is extremely, extremely sad news to hear, but... Thank goodness their music will always live on. Yes. We are huge fans of ZZ. I want to know who out there is a ZZ Top fan. Who doesn't love a Double good ZZ? Double hands up on that. Fritz Frank is tuning in over on YouTube. I want to know, Fritz Frank, are you a ZZ fan? I feel like he would be. I feel like he would be too. We have Bama Outdoors. He's saying, hey, ladies. Happy Friday, guys. You guys turned it, tuned into a good one. We are making actually two pretty incredible dishes today. Oh, yeah. We got a stuffed flank steak, which, wait for it. It's got some brie in it. It's got some roasted red peppers, courtesy of Barbecue Mama, who's tuning in over on YouTube. Oh, she yeah. Hi, everybody. Hey, Barbecue Mama. Straight from the source, Barbecue Mama's backyard grill. Yes, homemade roasted red peppers. And, and this, we got this tuna, or this happening today. Also, okay, so you I don't know if you guys saw our video from earlier in the week. We did those viral TikTok accordion potatoes. Super fun. They lived up to the hype. They really did. I We had our doubts. At first, we were like, what's going to happen here? I didn't think it was going to work. I got to be honest. I was like, no, this is not going to happen. But it does accordion out. So we're going to show you guys is how to do that. Is accordion out the proper term? I think is. Is that correct, everybody? I think <laughs> it definitely is. We're going to show you guys how exactly we do it. And it is so easy. Like, I couldn't believe it. It's it a is a little easy. bit of cuts. And then you got yourself an accordion tater. We're doing it live today. We are so happy to be here with you guys. I hope that you guys are happy too. It's a long weekend here in Canada, yes. but you guys will see we're bundled up today because it's chilly here today. It's starting to have that fall vibe. I it's don't know about where you guys live, but the crickets are starting to come out in the morning. You can hear them when you first wake up. I don't want to hear I don't want to hear this. This, I know. Is, this makes me sad. I'm not ready for it to be fall. It's got that back to school vibe. You guys know what I'm talking about. When you wake up and it feels like back to school. That feel that's a uh, that's not a good feeling. I know. Not, except any parents oh, in the house. Uncle Chico. Uncle Chico. Uncle Kara Chico in, in the house. house. Kara too. Hi, Hi Kara. Kara. Two two legends just came in, came to the party here. So nice to see you guys. Okay, so we're making a stuffed flank steak for those of you who just toined in. I what is wrong? <laughs> wow, it's Friday. <laughs> in we're making a stuffed blank steak and we're gonna redo the tiktok viral accordion potatoes because those are fun they taste good which is the most important thing so i want to exactly. do those again no that is a very good point because not only does it look cool obviously on tiktok on insta we're seeing things that look super cool but you gotta eat them after so exactly. does it taste good and guys we will let you know these taste fantastic we're using russets here that is the key to this to this particular dish you gotta use russets. Exactly. Now, karate videos and more are saying fall. Oh, karate's in here. 
They're yeah. saying fall. It's not fall at all yet. Fall is at the beginning. Summer ends in September. And I don't have to agree Agreed. with that. You do get some hot days. But you know what I mean. It's starting to have that, like, seasons changing vibe. It does. Which but I, I'm okay with. I do like the fall, too. I am, too. But I'm not ready for it. No. I, I'm still ready for some tank tops. We have our jackets on today because it's chilly. But I got a spaghetti strap on under here because I was like, sun's out, guns out, I'm alive. <laughs> That's not going to happen, guys. I know. Guys, you don't know how heartbreaking that is for her. That no she one can't can see that. Okay. She's still going to give that. it her all. She's giving it her it's, all. Okay. Let not, me feel that. Let me just... Feel for no, everybody. I haven't. No, yeah, no, that's good. I haven't it's, worked out in so long because so I wasn't feeling good, so now they're not good. I think it feels incredible, so honey. Hi, Mike. Brian Mikey. tuning in. He's saying, looks like Kiki is feeling better this week. So glad. That's so Brian, nice, Brian. So Thank you so much. Yes, I am feeling a little bit better. The highs and lows of living with a chronic illness. If anybody else is, you know what I'm talking about. But it's so nice to see you guys, and I love being on our Friday lives together. So, Me honey, too. are you going to get started? I'm going to get started. I'm going to. Oh, we have Mikey Kozar. Hi, Mikey. I already said hi to Mikey. Okay, I didn't attention. say hi to Mikey. I was yet. like, me and Mikey had a moment. Well, now me and Mikey are having a moment because, Mikey, I want to show you. Look at this beautiful flank steak from our friends over at Helenda's from Barbecue Mama because we always like to say we're grateful for Barbecue Mama. Yes. Because Barbecue Mama picks up all of our meat that we use in our videos from Helenda's. Yes, she does. So, thank you, Barbecue Mama. And, guys, now we're going to do. What is, oh, Oscar's tuning in, Barbecue Man. Hi, Barbecue Man. <laughs> yes. Saying, be careful. She's going to rip that shirt with those muscles. Aww. I know, that's a jean jacket. I feel like when your pipes are at their best, which give this girl a week of feeling better and your pipes are going to get back there, honey. Right, I feel like you could rip a jean jacket. Well, not now. <laughs> that's too nice to rip off. I know. I, I, I do want to hulk this off, though. Give me some time, guys. Give me some time. Okay, so, guys, we're going to do now what is known as... Butterflying our flank steak, and I have to tell you guys, these <gasps> Lori. Oh, Lori! Hi, all sauce, Lori. Okay, all sauce just came in. All sauce in the house. Oh, I love that. All you gotta raise the, the house. House. Sorry, you gotta raise the roof for, for certain Sorry. people. Sorry, and Lori is adorable. Lori, how are you liking the smoke fire? Remember, Lori won our contest. She did a little while she back. Did. Okay, so sorry, I interrupted you. Okay, so we're butterflying our flank steak, and I have to tell you guys, stuffing meat is not one of my favorite things to do, okay? She hates it. I like to eat stuffed meat. I absolutely love it. I love the way it looks when you slice it in half, when you get that delicious profile shot with all the different layers. However, prepping it, I can't stand it. So, honey, I'm going to need your help because okay. I can't stand it because it's finicky. It's very, very finicky. I'll let you guys in on a little secret about my sister, Mad, oh, over here. Here we go. Here she we go. hates things that if they start to fall apart, Maddie will just lose it. Like a burrito, for example. Oh, my goodness. I can't handle burritos. Bed, or a taco, anything that starts to, you know, when you're starting to eat something and it starts off being very neat and then all of a sudden you get halfway and it starts to fall apart. Normally, you would just be like, well, whatever, I'll get a fork. Oh, so you're saying I'm not normal. Maddie, you're a freak. She gets so mad. Oh, this isn't working. It's just like falling apart everywhere. Okay, who's with me on that, though? It's annoying when you you're do eating, do that. especially a burrito, when it comes and it's so intact and it's so wonderful. You take a couple bites and it starts exploding along the way. Who cares? I do. <laughs> so that's why she doesn't like the flank steak, because it's kind of the same thing. You start off one way and it looks like it's going great. Okay, but, but then, I, and we're at that stage right now where it's looking like it's going great. But then by the end, it's, it's more when you start to add the wet fillings, I feel like. Because then, then that start, things start to gush out the sides. You're like, am I going to lose some of this? But it's okay. We're going to get there. We are going to get there. And guys, I'll show you. Let me put this so you guys can see this. This is going to take a little bit of... A little bit of effort here and guys wait remember if you don't like the view on on whichever platform you're on switch to the other because you can get a different perspective we but have noticed people are enjoying the, the variety of views here i like it when people i find it very interesting when people start to switch over so do i and then they hop back they hop back over hi michael hi michael happy friday hi matt happy friday nice to see happy you happy friday matt. everybody i feel jacked up today because i feel like you're starting to feel a little bit better yes that's you're, right you're better than you were last week it's nice to see you guys brisket bros in the house brisket bros hi guys <laughs> okay nice I to see you guys <laughs> you know kiki's feeling better when she starts throwing out some some of those those moves those are some good moves. Sorry that I have to put you guys through those. <laughs> okay, we have Big Herdum tuning in over on YouTube. He's saying, good morning, ladies. Hi, Big Herdum. Are you cooking up something this weekend? Yeah, we what's on the grill? We have a long weekend here in Canada. Guys, anyone in Canada that's tuning in, what does everybody have planned for the grill this weekend? I want to know because everybody knows 
when it starts to get this time in the in the summer, the long weekends are near and dear. So yes. you want to get out there. I can, oh my goodness, the wasps again today. I know. Please, like, get off the lens. I remember last week. Yes. So, oh my goodness. You guys remember that? That wasp going right up to the screen? Okay. Also, is it me or are these giant taters again? Like, where, Canada, where are you getting these taters? I know. So, it, for those of you just tuning in, we're doing a stuffed flank steak today and the viral TikTok accordion tatios, as Maddie likes to call them sometimes. AKA potatoes. Potatoes. Okay, so guys, check out this amazing flank steak pocket that has been developed here. Perfect. Okay, it's a, it, I think it looks great. It's a It's a nice flap that we're gonna be putting stuff in. Check that flap action out. Uh -oh. Do you like that? <laughs> Do you like that? You're gonna spill it everywhere. <laughs> every time, every time. <laughs> But that's a good <laughs> flap. So now we're just gonna put that off to the side, off to the side, and start prepping our fillings. Okay. So today we're doing brie. We're doing fresh garden herbs. We got a mix of curly parsley and flat Italian parsley, and some roasted red peppers, courtesy of Barbecue Mama. Scoggins in the house. Hi, Scoggins. He's saying hi to everybody over there. And Tom's Food Factory. We got. Karate videos and more is saying they're doing burgers tonight. Brisket in two nice. days. Our friend Lori said she's doing some lobster and sirloin. Ooh, can I, I surf and turf. <laughs> can I come over, guys, please? I would really love to just go on a tour, hit everybody's house on my way back home. Can you imagine a barbecue family tour? Just get on a bib and be like, what do we got at this place? Guys, we could call it like barbecue family hop. Because oh. like, you know, like bar hopping? Remember when like people You'd get are full in like 10 seconds though because people would be making such amazing food. Or you'd get hung up at someone's house, I feel like, and then like you'd be like, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. We should do that. That would actually be, yeah, but people live so sprawled out. Yeah, I know. We that would like, actually be, oh my God, I actually love that idea. Because we, we gotta do think like on that, guys. One. Guys, let's think about that. Guys, I would love to do that. Okay, can I get started on the potato? Yes, you okay, so what I'm going to do, I don't really have a cool part anymore, so okay. I'm just going to prep that as you get to, I, I feel like the coolest part of this video. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to move the olive oil just so you guys can see. So we've got our potato, and like Maddie mentioned, these are russets we're working with. They're very, very large, and I russets... I like that's the key to these. It is, and different potatoes offer different factors. So as much as you might think one potato is just the same as another potato, Every potato is very, very different. So if you're going to, you can't use a red, which is more of a waxier kind of potato. Oh this my is goodness, a red would definitely not work No, here. I am not a huge red fan, to be honest. I love red. Red has, red, if you're going to go skin on, red just looks good. Red, okay. They're well, I do. They're I do. If you ever have, are you growing reds? Aren't you growing reds? I already did. They're, they're done, honey. Remember, you had some. They're <laughs> over. <laughs> You grew they red. weren't that memorable, you evidently. <laughs> Did mom? Yes. <laughs> I do not remember those reds. I swear See, to you. See, they must not have been that are good. Are you being serious? Yes. When? At the start of this year. I, mean, I literally do not remember that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get our potato, put it up lengthwise. And then the last time we did this, it looked like the recipe on TikTok, <clears throat> in my opinion, wasted a lot of potato. So it just cut both Agreed. ends off and there was a big center section. So instead of doing that, I'm going to try to get two larger sections. Okay, that's a very, very good call. Because I hate food waste. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. So instead of doing that, we're going to try to get two larger sections. I think that's good. That looks fantastic. And Let's I just want to jump in here and show everybody. I just cut up our brie. Oh, we have the hood foodie. He's saying, what's up, babes? And all sauce is saying, Maddie, and seem to be on the same wavelength. Team Red. She must be wearing red too. Team Red, yes. Lori I, I always am... has very interesting hair colors. Lori, what she color does. is your hair right now? Is she it red totally too? She totally does. That girl can rock a She's good... rocked pink. Pretty yeah. sure she's, she's had, had purple. Blue. I think no, she's red, had purple. No, no, purple, purple. But I just want to jump in with the brie here okay. as, you, as you do that because, guys, some people are not so pro on the cheese rind. And I want to hear what other people are saying on this. Are you guys, do you guys, were, okay, Barbecue Man, he's hopped over onto YouTube. <laughs> he's saying hi to everybody over there. Hi, Oscar. Do you guys remove the, um, the, the rind of the cheese? Because I personally enjoy the taste of not all cheese rinds, but brie in particular. I feel like that's where a lot of the flavor lies in brie. And so because, we're leaving the rind on here. And because brie is so, um, 
creamy. I feel like if you try to remove the rind, you're just wasting so much of it. It's just going to stick and you're just really Agreed. wasting a lot of it. Agreed. But good question, honey, because you're right. A lot of people don't like that. Okay. There was a wasp on me. Please. Oh, please. No. I don't want to get stung. Oh, no. Scoggins and Kiki, Mrs. Scoggin and I hope you are feeling better. Oh, Scoggin, thank you so much. That is so sweet of you. Thank you very much, Scoggin. I really, really appreciate that. How is Mrs. Scoggin doing? We haven't heard about her in a while. Hopefully she's fully recovered now, back to normal, back to her regular activities. Scoggit saying he eats the whole cheese. Yes. That's what I want to hear. Yes, Scoggit. Okay. Because grind so that rind. That's what Uncle Chico is saying. <laughs> Sorry. But I get Uncle Chico's just throwing out a grind that rind. <laughs> he keep putting an extra little twist on that. Kiki okay. can interpret Uncle Chico's text. Uncle Chico and I are on the, the same wavelength. She knows the tone of what he's meaning. Okay, so guys, our tadios are ready. So I've got to, instead of, you'll notice in our video. Are we, we really going with tadios? Pot potatoes. We're going to show everybody that we call them tadios. So I did in the video, in, in, on TikTok, they recommend that you trim off the ends and you get one big piece in the middle. I found that to be very wasteful. So I got two pieces. So we're going to see if that works. And I, I think, think thinner is better. Thinner also means it's going to quick cook, or it's, oh, oh my goodness, it's windy. My parsley's going everywhere. And that wasp is like eyeballing me. I can see him. He keeps coming out. And I'm like, no, don't look at me. Don't no, come please. Me. Don't even think about it. But a, a thinner okay. potato means it's going to cook quicker. And we are all about that. Okay, so we've got our tatios. So we've got it in three potatoes. We have two, four, six slices total because we've done two for each potato. So now what we're going to do. Okay, I need to jump in because I'm losing parsley by the second. All right, sorry. Windy. Guys, all I'm doing, let's get back to Kiki's exciting part, but all I'm doing is loading our flank steak here with the brie, the parsley, and the roasted red peppers. And you'll see that I'm not using a different cutting board for all this part because this is all happening on the same, this is the same thing. Exactly, yeah. And it's so like you're going to put that cooked um, cooked afterwards on the same thing. No, board. no, not disgusting. at all. So that's why save dishes when you can. You don't need to have five different cutting boards for, for this particular dish. No, you don't. That's looking really nice, honey. Yeah, I'm very, very right. pleased with this pocket. I am too. This pocket of flank steak. I am too. And you, you made it all the way through without making those big holes. You know, sometimes you can get cutting and yes. then a big hole happens. Oh my goodness. All right. Now, again, on TikTok, some sources recommended that you put a skewer all the way through. I don't see that happening. <laughs> You're talking about it like it's the news. You're like, some sources say it's just a TikTok recipe. <laughs> you know, I don't see that this happens. I don't I don't see that this is going to work, honey. Look it. I'm trying to skewer that through, but it's okay, going to come. I feel like that's going to go right into the old hand. But Please. it's looking, it's going to come bulging out the other end. First of all, no, someone's going to. you want gonna, it to bulge out the other no, end. No, it's going to come bulging out here. Like, that's not but right. But just put it on the cutting board and glide her in. Just oh, glide so, her in. All sauce is saying she heard a wasp. Hey, I can see they're all buzzing around there. <laughs> oh my god. Get I don't here. get okay. If it if you hit it and it gets me, I'm gonna get mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> I've angered it and then he's gonna take his rage out on that. Okay, so I'm gonna do what we did before, we'll just put the thing on the side and cut them. Is that okay with you? Okay, let's do it then. I thought that we would try something different and try it. <laughs> and I said ways, no. But Kiki, Kiki, Kiki is laying down the law. She's saying we're not doing that. No, so this is supposed to be chopsticks. And Esco's like, throwing out it, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be Friday Live without S. Will saying that. I think because I said just put it on the side and glide her in. These I'm are fun. Sure. Okay, please, please. <laughs> okay, sorry. Brian is saying, do you need to marinate flank steak before cooking? I thought it was a tougher cut of meat. Okay, so Brian, that Good is question, a question. Leave it to Brian to have fantastic questions, okay? So, Brian, that is a really good question, but it's not like it is 100% necessary, okay? So this is going to still, how we're actually going to be cooking this is we're doing a reverse sear. So we're going to start it off on our offset smoker that's already fired up, and we're cooking at 300 degrees, and that's going to ensure that it's actually kind of like low and slow cooking, and then we're going to high heat sear it on the firebox. Oh, yeah, that is going to be so good. Yeah, okay, I have two remaining pieces of brie here, and then I feel like that didn't fit in. But you know what? I'm just gonna stuff stuff her right in. Oh, no, yeah, no, it does fit. fit. Like fit. Oh, that's really that's really jammed in there. I know, guys. Okay, I'm just throw show this up to okay. everybody because this is one sight to see. Okay, so guys, look at what it looks like on the inside there. Okay, that looks fantastic. Hopefully, we're not gonna lose anything here. Could you imagine? No, I can't imagine that. Bay State Barbecue say, ladies, you know it's Friday. We know. We're we so know excited it's Friday. that it's Friday. Friday's not one of the days that sneak up on you. Oh, no, it's, it's not. It's not. Especially, like I said, we have a long weekend here in Canada. And 
Well, it's not a long weekend for us. I don't think that we get a lot of long weekends, honey, because we're working basically around the clock. No, and we actually have a segment again on Sunday. So it's like, yeah, it's not even a regular weekend. No, we, we, we're not. We're working. It's Sunday. actually like quicker than like a regular weekend for us. But I feel like when you when in most Canadians lives are up, the long weekends don't sneak up on you. No, exactly. we all know about them. We're all counting down to them. Oh, this is working. OK, so I don't know if you guys can see this. But all I'm doing is I've got the skewers on either side of this potato, and then I'm just that making looks great, honey. making little tiny slits all in the same direction like this. Okay, wait, I almost dropped a skewer here. Like this, okay? All going straight across. Now what we're gonna do? This is the crazy part. Is flip it over, okay? Then what we're gonna do is get our get our skewers, use them as a guide, and then we're gonna go sideways. So diagonal. So again, my brain isn't really fully understanding how this turns into an accordion. I don't get it at all. But I don't it does. understand how going like that, a straight up slit, and then a sideways slit makes it so it's an accordion shape. No, we're really going to show don't. you guys. So I'm going to keep going on this one. Okay, now I have a little bit of a dilemma here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because <laughs> what happened? Because uh -oh. I'm gloved up. I yeah. need to get to the rub that's going to go on here. So I think I'm going to have to de-glove. And then re-glove. Yeah, or no, do I de-glove with one hand maybe? Yes. Why do I just do one it? Hand. I don't get it. Because you're doing that. So I can still, do you I can still season that? you. No. Okay, okay, guys, I'm going to need to pause Kiki okay. for a second. Let me season you. So okay, I'm so yeah, we need to use this delicious rub. We're using Uncle Steve's rub. Is Uncle Steve in the house? Because I, Uncle Steve, I would love you to know that we are using your competition cow powder. Absolutely oh, love this one. That is a flavor sensation. Very heavy on the black pepper. Okay, we here have we go. Jason tuning in the culinary pickpocket. Hi, Jason. Oh, good. Okay, good. Okay, good I went job, a little honey. heavy handed on you that. You go heavy handed on it because it's beef it needs a lot all I'm right tell me when you need yeah, more i need this to you flip. Need more? yes okay i can't go back to the potatoes guys okay sorry the quicker we get this on the more magic it, okay. the more magical it'll be exactly and this is going to take a while when you when you do a stuffed flank steak it takes longer so flank steak is one of those cuts that it's known for very quick cooking on either side and you want it medium rare on the center but, but today we're smoking it. Today we're smoking it, and then good. we're doing a reverse sear with it today. But since it's stuffed, it's going to take even longer. So yeah, I still have a dilemma. What? <laughs> so, what? <laughs> what is happening? I have to now do the. I have to get the, the butcher's time to wrap it up. What do you need me to I do? I got a glove. Okay, fine. I, I know. Please do because I'd like to get back to the potatoes. So do I. Don't I want to see that? You still, okay. You haven't even done one yet. All right, I'm, I'm making my way through one. Guys, need... anyone else want to come give us a hand here on these Friday lives, okay? That would be actually so cool. All right, I hope this is going to work because th these are also um not chopsticks. So the slits I'm doing are going way deeper. So I hope this oh, works. Oh, goodness gracious. I know. Is that going to work? I don't know. We're about to find yeah, out. But it's the same on either end, so I think it still should work. Yeah, one would hope. But Guys, this is live, everybody. That's what's fun about this. So we have Johnny Mags tuning in. Hi, Johnny Mags. He's saying, my sister. Hi, Happy Johnny Mags. He said hi to mom. He's saying hi to barbecue mama. Okay, so I'm almost done this potato, and then I want to show you guys what it's going to look like on the inside. Has anybody else tried these? Because I, we love A doing... A lot of people actually tried them. We love doing the um, the TikTok, like, viral things, because sometimes, like, sometimes Maddie's right. Sometimes they work, and sometimes you're like, how is that a thing? A okay. lot of the time, though, oh. surprisingly, they were. Oh yes. Uh oh. Oh yes. Kiki, guys, I did it. Kiki, that's I did Kiki's it. move on these. She loves doing like the spin. Because like then that. it shows you. Look, check that out on YouTube. Can you guys see that like action here? I don't. You guys saw what I did. Slits down one way, slits down the other, and then somehow, some kind of magic happens, and it turns into. An accordion. This is like it's like some kind of potato ma magic because I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it either. I'm not getting the angles and how that results in an accordion shape. Okay. Jason is saying right on. Uncle Chico saying no wing, wind or wasp in sunny Huntington Beach. M and K at the beach with Uncle Chico. Uncle Chico has been saying that for a while now, and I feel like we need to make it happen. I would love to do I that. I feel like we need to do. Alive on the beach in Huntington Beach with Uncle Chico okay, cooking just, up some tacos because he's he is a legend at tacos. Can I just show you guys this again? Like I can't get over that. Yeah. Tri tip junkie is can like I touch that. Yeah. Cool. Isn't that weird? Then like look on the inside. Like, can you guys see? Okay, that wasp back. Just watch it. <laughs> watch out, everybody. But can you guys see? Isn't that so weird? 
I don't understand. Barbecue Mama is saying, is that not a thing of beauty or what? Okay, so I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to do all six of these. Ooh, so, honey, watch your head. Oh. There's a lot. Okay. I almost spilled out oh. olive oil. I'll get what? 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 <laughs> Stop screeching and then pointing to my face. <laughs> It was near your head. I'm trying to save you. Okay, fine. Oh, okay. That's my first grateful. Oh, yeah. That's okay. my first grateful. What? Okay, so guys, every Friday, we've been doing these now for a number of months. I don't know exactly how long, but we love... Okay, oh my goodness. Now it's near my head. Now it's near my head. Is it near me? Yep, it is near you. It is near you. <laughs> I'm not grateful for wasps. Okay, I'm going to keep going on these potatoes. Yes. Okay, so guys, we've been doing these for a number of months. And we love talking about what everybody is grateful for. So not just what we're grateful for. We love when other people get involved because we always say there's always something to be grateful for. Kiki was able to find what she was grateful for last week, even though you were in like literally excruciating pain. Yeah. You still went live. So even under the craziest circumstances, there's still something to be grateful for. Definitely. And I want to hear... I want to hear, Kiki wants to hear what you guys are grateful for this week. Yeah, okay? absolutely. So I have my first one that I'd like to share with everybody. Okay. What okay, is so it? tell me. Do I know it? Yes, actually, it is, has to do with you. Okay. Okay, so this week, I, I can't be the only one that's done this. Okay, so Kiki and Wait, I. it has to do with me. What, yes, I, we're at the grill studio, <coughs> and we were walking up from the grill studio carrying, like, a bunch of platters because we just shot our burger video, and... I took a, I, I almost took a tumble. I remember this now. Okay, so my foot went into a pothole. Have you guys ever done that before? When your foot goes into a pothole, you kind of like your ankle kind of, um, what is that called? Like turns over? Yes, your, my ankle turned and I kind of went like flying into Kiki. Literally, this girl has cat-like reactions. She literally went like that and caught me and the platter I was holding. That's a true story. Okay, so that's 100% true. It happened, I, I think, on Wednesday. Yep. And I didn't go down. I didn't actually turn my ankle. It did hurt, <laughs> even though I erupted in laughter for some reason. What is that? Okay, so the it's construction- It's ice cream man. <laughs> I wish. It's the construction workers just honking, doing their regular <laughs> Friday honks at us. Um, but that's what happened, and I was so grateful that Kiki was there to catch me. Yeah, and there are a number of potholes at my place because... <laughs> yes, and I feel like I've found all of them. Yeah, oh, Chantel in the house! Oh, Chantel! Hi, VIP Chantel! She's saying, short. sorry, she's late. Chantel, Look at this late. one! Check this out! Hi, Chantel! Okay, Chantel, this is what we're making today. We're doing the TikTok viral accordion potatoes to show you guys how we make them again. Is that not so cool? I am astounded every time at this. Like, yeah. what is... What, what is what kind of sorcery are, is this potato, everybody? <laughs> okay, so Brian's saying, I'm grateful that my term as president of the local swim league is over tomorrow after tomorrow's championship. Oh, that is so cool, Brian. I feel like this is farther away today. I can't <laughs> see that, but Brian, that is so cool. So why are you grateful that it's over tomorrow? Are you happy just to not be involved anymore? You want to do something else? Like, hey, Brian, you're the president? That is super cool. That is very, very cool. That is actually so awesome. I haven't gone swimming in a number of years, but I do miss, I love swimming. Oh my goodness. Okay, the Olympics are on right now. Obviously, that's not a secret to the world. Everybody knows the Olympics are on right now. Even though it says Tokyo 2020, which I don't I'm yet. still not getting that. I'm still not getting it. But anytime if you anytime we watch the swimming competition, it makes me want to jump in the pool. I know. Oh my goodness. I really want to go swimming. We had a pool growing up and I always think about about swimming and how much I miss it. He's saying it's a lot of responsibility and I've done it for three years. I can understand that. I can totally understand that. And why not try something new? Brian, good for you. He's saying he's grateful it's over. Sometimes it is things that we get excited about at the beginning. Sometimes we're grateful for them to be over, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that. Steve is saying, <laughs> I'm grateful for the tomato and cucumber salad I'm having for lunch. Steve, we had that for lunch too. Yeah. And I almost, Maddie put a big garlic clove in it and I almost ate it entirely. Maddie's I kind like, of watch wanted out. her too. But I was like, I don't want to be garlic in our live right in your face. And it's looking good. It wouldn't be the first time, but it would not be the first time. We love our garlic over here. Yeah, no, it would not. But you know what? Speaking of the Olympics, that is actually something that I'm grateful for this week. The Olympics? Week. No, not the Olympics. I'm grateful that the Olympics are back on because it's showing that the world is heading in the right direction. Yep. But I'm grateful for something that happened within the Olympics just a little while ago. Okay. So I don't know. You guys have, may, have, may have heard this story. One of the... So actually the Norwegian... Um, beach ball volleyball teams recently i think i know what you're gonna say okay 
You guys probably heard this story. They decided that they weren't going to wear these skimpy little bikini bottoms that are apparently part of the uniform. And I'm going like this because how is that a uniform? I don't it get is, it. And it does look like a bikini. Well, it is a bikini. It is. It's a bikini. It's so, a bikini that I, I don't understand how anyone could find that comfortable playing volleyball. No, neither do I. Feel. I feel like I'd be worried about things popping out and things not tapered in properly. Exactly. So they <laughs> they decided that they weren't going to wear the bottoms. They were going to wear shorts instead. They had to pay a fine. The Olympics uh, fined so did them. did they wear shorts instead? They did wear shorts. Okay. They all showed up in shorts. They were fined. Um, they had to pay a fine. It was like something like 15, around 1500 US. Gee, all yep. of them? All of them. And um, you know the musician Pink? Yeah. She offered to pay that fine for them because of how ridiculous that was. So I am extremely Pink grateful. Rocks. That, yeah. is, oh, that is such a cool story. I can't tell you guys how irritated I was by hearing that, that women are like forced to wear these like skimpy bikini bottoms. I don't get it if you don't like it. Like I get it because it's it's their uniform and like that's like... If but why a, is that a uniform? Exactly. Is that's the question. That is the question here. Yeah. So I was really grateful for that this week to see that women have the courage to stand up for themselves. That's a good one. When they know something isn't right and to start turning those wheels in the right direction. <laughs> What? <laughs> Uncle Chico saying he'd be worried about his burrito spilling out. <laughs> Leave it to Uncle Chico. Yeah, but you know what, Uncle Chico? You don't see men being forced to wear bikini bottoms. That's the problem. That's the main problem. That is true. Because it's always like, and then people are like, oh, well, people don't want to see that. That, again, is the problem. Just because people want to see women in bikini bottoms does not mean that we should have to wear them. So agreed. I was really happy about that. Okay, I need to, I just realized I need you to suit back up because okay. I'm gonna get our flank onto the grill. All right. So we have Fritz Frank. He's saying I'm in favor of those traditional uniforms. Okay, he's saying he's in favor of the bikini. I think he if we took a vote, a lot of people would be in favor of the bikini. I oh that Adrian's tuning in. He's saying that's like making the men wear a Borat mankini. Thank you. You know what? How entertaining would that be? I'd watch all the Olympic sports if the guys were wearing that. <laughs> exactly. So also has to say, she gets it. I, I'm not under, I thank you very much guys, because that's something I was extremely irritated by that. And if you're watching the beach ball, volleyball, like what year is it? It literally is like camera views right up in the girls' bums. It's like, but I think everybody's saying they enjoy that. I think people are saying they enjoy that. <laughs> okay, so guys, I am going to get this onto the grill. We are ready to go. I had to resuit up because I need to place this onto our smoker. So we're cooking at 300 degrees. We got charcoal in there. We got hickory wood in there. Kiki wants to show you guys this again. I just did another one. That looks so cool. I don't even. And it's staying together. Yeah. Okay, but people said now, can you put it through the skewer? No, I don't want to try. Just try one. No. Try with this little one. I'll try. Let's just, guys, let's get her to try. Let's get her okay, to try. Okay, let me cut this one and then I will. But okay. I don't think it's, I don't think that's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to get this one to the smoker okay. so it can start to cook. We are going to be reverse searing this. And I feel like this is a prime thick cut of meat to reverse sear. Yes, I think so too, honey. I think we have Pit Master on the way tuned in. Hi, Pit Master on the way. Guys, I'm going to show you this up close, okay? So check out this beautiful flank steak. She's wrapped. She's rolled. She's ready to hit the smoker. Our friend Tommy's in the house. Tommy's in the house? Hi, yep, Tommy. Gallery back here. Oh, hi, Tommy. Too. Nice to see you, Tommy. Okay, wait, can I show Tommy one of the potatoes? Let's show Tommy. Okay, wait, here we go. Okay, Tommy, so check this Uncle out. Chico saying so. You're re so we're saying we're not getting an M and K bikini live anytime soon, guys. That's not not something that anyone wants to see here. Okay, we're we're, we're suited up all the time. <laughs> Maddie and Kiki don't do bikinis. I don't. That's not something that as much as if maybe we got, we've gotten requests for bikinis over the years. That's not something that's ever gonna happen. Unless we're at the beach, which uh, in that case I'm not a bikini girl. To be honest, I still am. A, I am a bikini girl. If we ever venture out to see Uncle Chico at Huntington Beach. I will rock a bikini, but I don't think anyone wants to see a bikini barbecue live. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get this And dangerous. Yeah, like, <laughs> things are spurting out and stuff. Like, so, imagine sausages and a oh, bikini. No. And no. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm about halfway through these potatoes, guys. And then Maddie wants me to try skewering this one, so Let's I will. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. Now I'm, look at this mess that I've made. I'm just yeah. sitting back here. Why am I not surprised that you made a huge mess, honey? Yep, it happens all the time. Fritz Frank is saying... For the record, pink is amazing. Agreed. Yeah. I totally, totally agree with that. Good for pink. 
Okay, so I'm going to try skewering this one. I don't think it's going to work, but I will do it for my honey because Maddie asked me to do something. I'm going to give it just a try. Get, yeah, thank you, honey. Just give but it I'm a just try. I'm just going to do one. I don't think two is going to work. If you skewer your hand, though, I'm going to get in so much trouble about this from you and for barbecue mama. <laughs> okay, okay, this is scaring me. Yeah, this like I, it's me. like I'm going to get injured here. <laughs> Okay, so Scoggin is saying he's grateful that he finally has his car back from the shop and it was $402 later. Yep, Scoggin, that is a good point. You're not taking your car anywhere for less than that, I feel like, these days. Okay, honey, 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 no. <laughs> you want me to do okay, this? No, I don't. No, I don't. So, I'm halfway through, but I don't think... Okay, but let's see if that... Let's, let's it see is going to work, but it's just... No, but it's not, like... You're going to wreck it. You're oh, going to wreck it. kind of is. How is that better? Yeah, but maybe it, yeah, what is happening here? It's not, now it's not even accordioning. Accordioning. <laughs> okay, now I feel like this is going to go through my hand. Okay, hold See, on. See, that's, Let's that's a waste this. of time. That's, now I'm not even in. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. No, it is working. But what's the point? I don't because get the point of the skewer. <laughs> okay, we should have Maddie's done really metal. really trying to make that skewer work, guys. We should have done the metal skewers for this. Because that would have like gone through like perfectly fine. Let's just see this. Okay, stay with Can us. Can I please guys. get back to my potatoes? Okay, let me just keep going. Get out of my way! I don't know why you <laughs> started monopolizing my potato space. Who wants to see this sprawled out like this? Okay. What is Uncle Chico saying? He said, "FYI, I have fallen in love with you two ladies because of your infectious personalities and passion for food." Uncle see? Chico. No one needs to be in a bikini. <laughs> Uncle Chico, that's oh, very Uncle sweet of you Chico, to say. That is very sweet of you to say. It's, that's just, I can't, I don't even have words for that, okay? Uncle Chico is adorable. He's took the words away from me. Yeah, I that's love, not, that doesn't happen very often. I would love to try some of Uncle Chico's tacos, and that is not code for anything. That guy <laughs> makes good tacos. Where's that Will? <laughs> we needed, that's what she said. Okay, you guys, I'm trying to work this. I don't know if you guys can see over on She's Instagram. trying to make it happen, and I don't think it is. Over on YouTube, guys, it's kind of working. It kind of, kind of is working. I think you just wrecked one of my precious potatoes. We have Roger Hernandez tuning in. He's saying, hey, guys, and he's saying teamwork, because he gets it. Sometimes this takes a little bit of teamwork yeah but i don't see why why you're forcing the skewer they're good on their own but they're not gonna skewer it's not gonna fan out properly oh like God. look at look at how much better that looks yeah <laughs> no it doesn't <laughs> okay it's i'm kind barbecue of barbecue man saying uncle chico makes the best tacos he does he does he's a taco legend he knows his stuff that's bill just threw out of that's what she said <laughs> knew it was gonna happen i feel like there needs to be like a button for for um Th uh, that's what she said for S. Will to just be able to hit it. <laughs> okay, and on that note, guys, everyone keeps telling us we need to remind people to hit the like button. <laughs> oh, and yes. Hit the heart button. We, I, I always forget to say that during a live because we're just having too much fun. <laughs> yes, good point. So if you guys are having fun and you're enjoying yourself, please do hit that like button. Please send us some hearts. Please subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed. I always forget to say that too. That's one of those okay, things. Can, can that, look, that is not happening. Look at it. Yeah, that's way. Okay, imagine if like deep fry that. Yeah, but it's like, bro it's already broken and I, it hasn't even started cooking. Maddie's really trying to make that work. <laughs> Let's just see what this looks like. Kathy, Kathy's in the house. Okay, I just I got way too excited about that. Please don't cut yourself. <laughs> Kathy's in the house. Hi, Kathy. Happy Friday. Hi, Kathy. How are you? What's going on? Okay, I don't have a cloth out here, and now my hand is all potato-y and starchy. Just give okay. it one of those. <laughs> okay, that looks like I'm washing these before our next segment on Sunday. <laughs> okay, Tommy tuned in over on YouTube. He's saying, now I'm watching you guys on the tube. Hi, you Tommy. girls are everywhere. Tommy, you're the cutest. And Roger's saying, Let's looks see if this good. one works. Put a twist to it. Yes, yeah, see, Roger's saying it needs a twist. Guys, look. That is super cool. It's like one of those like wind things that you get for outside, you know? What wind thing? You know oh, those things that oh, like... yeah, those wind, those things that twirl in the wind. Yes, look. Check that out, everybody. Okay, you I'm like astounded. Dirty. I, that's, no, what I'm for. Yeah, that's what those are for. Yeah. That's what those are for. All sauce is saying yes to the deep fry. I that feel would like be that's cool. a great I feel like that's a good idea because it is on the skewer. Look at now it's staying in this position. That's awesome. Okay, this is so reminding me of like a waffle fry. We have Pharisee tuning in. She's saying, me too. She just switched to YouTube. Guys, we always tell people, try all the platforms because it's a different view. YouTube, we have the nice wide shot. You see more of the action back here. Instagram, we're a little bit up close and personal. Maybe you can see up there, see if we got some bears in the cave. Honey, do you <laughs> No, don't look at You're me. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Kathy, 
Kathy said she's doing this when she gets home. Yes, Kathy. Yes, Kathy. Okay, hey. so what what are some tips that we can offer Kathy? Not that she needs them. No, there. This is so easy. Now that like, we've done these twice, I would say don't mess with the skewer. This is a waste of time. You're really, really hating on the skewer. Well, because what is this doing? It's fanning it out. You and you almost injured yourself greatly. So did you. <laughs> so did you. Okay, I'm on my last ten. And guys, if anyone doesn't know this. We are sisters, okay? <laughs> a lot of people still to this day, we get messages of people asking, are you guys sisters? How can you not tell I know, sisters? I know, I <laughs> know. With the way we rip on each other too. Hey. <laughs> and we, I feel like I feel like we sound very similar, so I feel like you are higher than me. Okay. But like, do we need to point that out every single time? Dude, I feel like we do have a very similar voice. Like, we I don't do. know. If I just we met do. us, I would think we're sisters. Oh, okay. Bex is tuning in. She's saying, hey ladies. Hi, Bex. Bex, we're doing this potato thing. Okay, Will saying, how about a smaller skewer? Maybe that would work. Or yes. Maddie's right, maybe a metal skewer would work better. But this is a do waste. Do I try and run and go get a metal skewer? No, I want to do them just like this. I Look would like to experiment looks. with these. Hey, this looks like a brisket. Oh, cool. How about how about that? See, huh? I don't. If you look at it from the side, I still. It's like I'm not getting you can't, it. I know. I really don't get it. Does this not look like a potato piece of brisket? Okay, honey, let's hear something that okay, you're sorry. grateful for. So let's put that down. Sorry. Let's get. <laughs> Daddy's like focus again, class. <laughs> let's hear. Wait, something. what side am I on? Oh yeah, okay. Let's hear something you're grateful for, guys. We want to hear you guys weighing in on what you are grateful for this week. We've had some great ones being shared already. Okay, can I go? Yes. And Bex is saying, just give Kiki this one. Skewers are dangerous. Bex, you're that is a very, very good point. We almost just impaled each other different <laughs> at different times, so we're gonna put the skewers away. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see. And we had Misty tuning in. She's saying, "Hey, ladies, looks like fun." Misty, it is fun here, but it also is chilly here today. Believe it or not, this is July. I don't think I've ever worn a jacket like this in July. No, this has been a this is pretty some cool kind summer of record. Here. This is some kind of record here. Yep. So Fritz Frank is saying, in all seriousness, I feel bad for you guys. I can imagine the crap you ladies have to put up with. If you need someone to bust some heads, call me up. From Brian, <laughs> you are so oh no, Fritz Frank is saying that. Fritz Frank, thank you very much. Believe it or not. I have to say, a lot of people talk about trolls and things like that. Knock on wood. Let's really, really knock on wood here because we don't get a lot of that. Thank no. goodness. We hardly ever get negative comments. I'm very grateful for that. And we don't get a lot of, like, dare I say, sexual comments. Like, we don't get a lot of people saying, like, get the bikinis on, whatever. I'm very surprised it's by very, that. It's very, very surprising because especially <laughs> because we work in a, a male dominated field, which is slowly, slowly starting to not be so male dominated, but we hardly get that. So, but Fritz Frank, we will take you up on your offer. If we do start to get them, we know where to send them. Also to Barbecue Mama, because I don't oh. think anyone would mess with Barbecue oh, Mama. No. She's Italian, and let's just say she can make bodies disappear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Chantel's saying positive vibes only. Uh -oh. He's talking about bodies. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, so Sask Barbecue say saw you on Global this morning. Did we do a segment? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, no, no. <laughs> I forget. I had a heart attack. I was like, what? what were we on? Me this too. Morning? I was like, was that today? No, but yesterday, yesterday we recorded a segment for Global um, Saskatoon. That's Sask makes, Barbecue. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Nice Sask to barbecue. see you. Sass Barbecue, did you have, did you enjoy the segment? I would love to hear that because that is super cool now he's watching us on our live. Yeah, it's so nice to see you. So glad that you you saw us this morning, uh, live as we were, even though that wasn't live, I forgot. <laughs> okay, so guys, now we're just going to, let's continue on so we can get these potatoes onto the grill. We're going to hit them with some olive oil. We're using Zoe's. If anybody haven't, hasn't tried Zoe's, we're a big fan. I really like all their yes. products. So we're just going to hit them with you a little. Do you want me to suit up and get in there? No, you don't need to. I, I'm... I, I can do that now. Let's That's go, really I, dark oil. I will get in there because I forgot to bring us out a kitchen towel. So I will get in there. And I don't want... Kiki keeps getting me gross. Why being so starchy? Yeah. I got, yeah, I got, I got myself. you back. I got you back. Yeah, but I got myself starchy too. So I'll get in there and I'll, I'll rub that all around. Okay, so you just... All we're doing to these, salt, pepper, a lot of salt and pepper. As you guys know, we always say Ooh, these that... These are delicate. Yes, they are. These are really, really delicate. And we always say that we like to go with a heavy hand on the seasoning because seasoning means flavor. So, guys, also what we have to say, this is one of the crucial, crucial tips to when you're doing potatoes on the grill. <laughs> I'm salting your hand. I know. I can feel it. It feels actually kind of interesting through the through the gloves here. It's like the next spot treatment, salt fingers. <laughs> I like 
<laughs> salt finger sounds gross. I know that does sound really gross. <laughs> okay, can you hand me a little bit more olive oil? Okay. Okay. But well. one of the biggest tips we can offer people when you're doing potatoes, aka potatoes, on the grill or in the oven, because how we're going to be cooking these is like we're cooking in the oven, is do not skimp on the parchment paper. Oh yeah. Okay, so anyone who has done potatoes, okay, watch your okay, hand. Get your hand out of there. Anyone that has done potatoes in the oven or on the grill before and who hasn't used parchment, does anyone know what happens when you don't use parchment? Stick city. <laughs> You're stuck, you can't get them off. Stick city, everybody. <coughs> Excuse okay, me. and that's not what we want here. We want these to effortlessly come off of the pan, come away from the pan so that we can enjoy them. And that's how you can you can ensure that happens if you use parchment paper. We never, that is something that's always in the house. So we're gonna do a little experiment. We've got them all ready to go. And then we've got Maddie's one skewered one. So we're gonna see if the skewered one gets crunchier. I love that this is like the experimental one. And if it doesn't work, it's gonna be mine. And if it does work, Kiki's gonna say it was her idea. You know it. <laughs> and we all know that everyone's tuning in right now. Everyone knows that Kiki was against this to begin with. Life of, the Insta Life of Barney is saying parchment for the win. Yes, yes, he knows, he knows. We are all about that parchment. Okay, so that's a lot of salt. Wow, that's, that was loud. That's a lot of salt and pepper. These are ready to go. Evil Llama's throwing down a potato. I like... <laughs> <laughs> I love Kiki's interpretation of how people are saying things. I like it. I feel like you're right every single time. Scott gets saying he goes through a roll of parchment a week. Pretty See? much we do too. Yes, because uh, Scott gets, I would think that, have, have you grilled with parchment before? I feel like he probably has. You just gotta it's watch it. And even, you know, um, <laughs> we'll always eat, we'll also do parchment sometimes underneath a pizza. If you're gonna yes. try to roll, like slide a pizza off into a hot oven, just for the first few minutes, it does make it way easier. Then you're not wondering if it's going to start to topple into the, a hot pizza oven. I That's always have love to start off with parchment because then if you shut the lid, give it a couple seconds and then it, you can literally do like a tablecloth trick and slide the parchment out from under a pizza. You gotta be quick though. You do. You gotta be quick with that. And you gotta watch out because if it's not ready, you will just slide it back into your face. Everybody is saying that these are huge potatoes. Yes, they are. They are absolutely massive. I don't know where the heck these ones come from. I know. I'm not sure if they're Canadian or what, but they are quite large. So guys, now we are gonna be doing these on the grill. This time, last time we cooked them on the Traeger, this time we're cooking them on the gasser. Yeah. Okay, so as you guys know, any Traeger owners in the house, you know that it's all indirect cooking. So you just slide it into the grill, you're good to go. But today we're cooking them on the gas grill. So that means that we're gonna be cooking them using the mom method. Okay, this wasp wants at us and wants at the food. He's not giving up. Okay, so the mom method refers to medium, like medium as in the burners off on the center burner and then medium on the other side of the burner. So then you just put this into the grill like that and there's no heat source coming from underneath and the heat is just circling all around the grill making it like a convection oven. Can we change that to the barbecue mom method? So it's like barbecue mama. But barbecue mama didn't invent it. I know, but we everyone's want barbecue mama in there. Yeah, okay, that's the barbecue mama method. Okay, S. Will saying he wishes that he could get them here. I know these are massive. I hope that we're gonna be able to find them again. I know. Okay, I'm gonna get these on the gasser, and then we're gonna check on the flank steak, even though it's not ready. But we're gonna check on it. Oh yeah, that is gonna be dang good, honey. I can't wait to see those when they come off. Scoggin is saying those potatoes came from Texas because. Everything is bigger in Texas. How did we not know? I I, I don't know if that's 100%, but I feel like it could be accurate because they are massive. And it's weird because when we did the video earlier in the week, we also had a, that potato was even bigger. If you guys look, go look it back on massive. that video. That was like this big, that potato. I don't know where that came from. So I just want to let you guys know the gasser is at 450 degrees. So we're cooking hot, hopefully because of all those slits, that's going to get nice and crispy and crunchy quicker as opposed to if you're cooking it at like a 350 or something. Yeah, you don't want to have those mushy. You want them nice and crunchy. Yes. I was just going to say, Goldie is in the house. Goldie! Hi, I'm Chase with Goldie! Hi, Goldie. How are you? Goldie, how are you, girl? I don't think Goldie's ever tuned into one of our lives. I, that girl has such a beautiful vibe. I, okay, and Michael. Michael, okay, Michael actually is a barbecue family member who is currently in the hospital. So just like last week, guys, everybody was sending a lot of well wishes to Kiki, to our friend Art Harris, who is um, undergoing chemo treatment. Was it chemo? Um, radiation. Yes, yep, that's right. 
Okay, so we're gonna need some really nice well wishes to our friend Michael, who is currently in the hospital with an infection. Yep. So hit those um, hit those hearts, guys. Let's send some hearts to Michael. Making him Michael's feel better. Michael's hitting the hearts on that. Let's He's send our vibes over that. to him. Oh, okay, we're gonna take vibes from YouTube. Send them over to Instagram. It's all circling back and forth, <laughs> and that really does help. It really, really does. It does. I feel like that Chantel makes... sending some hearts. See, I feel like it does make everybody... Pharisee is sending some hearts. Eva Llama sending some hearts. So, Michael, that is all for you. Hopefully, you're going to start to feel better very, very soon. And I want to see you grilling again because that guy also makes some fantastic food. Taste with grill. Goldie saying, wishing you a speedy recovery, Michael. Oh, barbecue family. I know. I love you guys. We really do love you guys. I think we're almost at a time here. Let me check. Let's let's check okay. over at the at the um Oh my goodness, the flank stay here. <laughs> I was like, what the got going on in the Are we toying in? Remember the beginning? <laughs> I don't know what's it's happening. Friday, today, everybody. <laughs> okay, let's check what we got uh, going on under our lid here. All right, let's see what's up. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Can you oh, guys yeah. see can that? Can you guys see it? Let's get out of the way here so YouTube can see. That is already smelling incredible. As soon as Maddie opened the lid, I got a big hit of the roasted red peppers. Goldie just sent a lot of hearts over She's to our friend Michael. She sent a whack load of hearts over there. It's so nice to see that, guys. Thank you so much for sending those. Hobie's Garage sending some hearts to Michael. They try Tip Junkie is saying, is he saying thanks? I can't see that. Oh my goodness, this font. I think he is. Everybody's sending their hearts over to Michael. Michael, you are very welcome. Wish we could send you over some of this. This. Um, why do we keep forgetting what this is? I know. <laughs> I keep wanting to say brisket. <laughs> I wish it was a brisket, but we got a flank steak going on there. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be tasty. Guys, we're going to be posting some after shots of the potatoes. And more importantly, that skewered one. Because I want some credit on that one. Okay, who thinks the skewered one's going to work and who doesn't? I do. I don't. I think it's going to work. All right. We'll okay, have to wait and see. We're going to see. We'll show you guys either way, no matter what it looks like. We're going to show you guys pictures of the flank steak too. But we just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. We say it every single week. You guys are probably thinking we're sounding like broken records who are just being annoying, but we love you guys so much. This is such a fun thing to do on a Friday. We really look forward to it every single Friday. I know I do. It's always the highlight of my week. It's always so nice to have an hour to be able to hang out with you guys, make something delicious. And we hope you guys have a great weekend. Even if you don't have a long weekend, we hope you have a fantastic weekend. Lori at All Sauce is saying brisket next. I think that we got to do that. And Goldie saying, Maddie, I love your hair. Goldie, thank you because I had to put it up today because it was windy. And it Kiki, looks beautiful. Kiki said it looked good. I was on the fence about it. But now that Goldie said it, now that Kiki said it, I feel like I'm there. She looks great. I'm going to do it again. She looks great. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a fantastic weekend and stay tuned. For these pictures. Yes, I'm I can't wait to see the about that potato. Me too. <laughs> okay, bye everybody. Bye guys, have a good one. Okay, can I look at this again? Because I really need to check this this black yes. stick out, honey. Yes. Okay, bye YouTube family. <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks good.